The 16th BRICS Summit will be held in Kazan, Russia from October 22nd to 24th, 2024. Leaders from member countries will convene to discuss key global issues and enhance cooperation. The summit aims to strengthen multilateralism and address challenges in politics, security and economic development among the BRICS nations. Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva has cancelled his trip to Russia due to a head injury sustained at home. Advised by doctors to avoid long-haul flights, he will participate in the BRICS summit virtually. This cancellation prevents his first face-to-face -face meeting with President Vladimir Putin this year. The Gurpatwant Singh Panun, a Khalistani terrorist, warned passengers not to fly Air India between November 1st and 19th, citing potential attacks coinciding with the 40th anniversary of the Sikh genocide. This warning comes amid a series of hoax bomb threats targeting Indian airlines, raising security concerns for travellers. During King Charles's address to the Australian Parliament, Senator Lydia Thorpe interrupted, declaring, you are not my king, and accusing him of committing genocide against indigenous Australians. Her outburst has drawn mixed reactions, with some condemning her disrespectful behaviour, while others praised her for voicing indigenous grievances amid colonial history. The World Health Organization, or WHO, plans to evacuate up to 1,000 women and children from Gaza to Europe for urgent medical care. This follows the successful evacuation of 600 individuals since October 2023. The initiative aims to address the critical health needs amid the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict. Donald Trump visited a McDonald's in Pennsylvania where he briefly worked at the Fry Station despite the restaurant's recent health inspection failure. Critics highlighted his lack of gloves and hairnet raising concerns about food safety. The incident has sparked outrage, especially as Trump claims to be a germaphobe. 